Hi, this is Naomi from OMI Industries. This is the R2RAR. It's a lo-fi digital to analog converter that takes gate signals and turns them into sequences. It pairs well with clock dividers, random gates, logic, and can make complex melodies out of simple gate signals. It features five inputs. The top input is the most significant bit, changing the output the most. The bottom input is the least significant bit, changing the output the least. The three middle inputs change the output half as much as the one above it. The sum of these five inputs is passed through an attenuverter, which sets the amplitude and polarity of the signal. To the right, it increases positively, going up in voltage. To the left, it increases negatively, going down into negative voltages. Here we're going to start with taking the dual digital shift register, feeding pseudo-random gate signals into the R2R to create a sequence. I'm patching that to the 1 volt per octave on the ensemble oscillator. This is a complex oscillator from 4MS, but I have it set in stereo mode so only the root oscillator is coming out the A input. In addition to the pseudo-random gates for the DDSR, a clock source from the QCD is patched into the least significant bit. You can add vibrato this way by using a clock multiplier into the least significant bit or the second to last input. So now let's adjust the clock speed on the two DDSRs in the fourth QCD channel. Adjusting the attenuverter can transpose the sequence. Adjusting counterclockwise lowers the pitch, and clockwise increases the pitch. Now let's build on this patch, adding the Basimilis at Teratess Alter, the rest of the Ensemble Oscillator voices, and some more complicated sequencing using Ileana, the QCD, and the DDSR. The R2R was designed for video use as well as audio. So here let's look at using the R2R as a sort of weighted mixer. So I have two video rate oscillators and one audio rate oscillator patched into the R2R. The output is passed into a hard key generator and then to the red channel of an RGB encoder. 
The video oscillators are an LZX Castle and Cadet oscillator, and the audio rate oscillator is coming from a noise engineering Laquelica Teratas patched into the LSB input. The R2R in this case can also be used to decrease the amplitude of an audio Yorack module down to video levels using the last two inputs and possibly a bit of attenuation. Now let's add some modulation from LFOs to oscillator frequency, wave shape, and the hard key CV input. Finally, I'm taking the negative hard key output through a multiplier to an ADC with the D2 output patched into the R2R, D0 to green, and D1 to blue. A horizontal ramp is patched into the CV input of the multiplier. There you have it, the R2R from Omi Industries. If you have any questions, you can reach me on social media at Omi Industries or drop me an email at omiindustries at gmail.com. Happy patching.